the Grain Freeze 2 plug-in is a granular synthesis device used in Ableton, powered by Max for Live. Created by Robert Hank, one of the engineers responsible for the original Ableton software, Grain Freeze is a deceptively powerful device that can transform samples into collages of interesting, lush, sounds. In my opinion, it is one of the most underrated plugins inside of Ableton. The best way to think about how granular synthesis devices work is to imagine sound going inside a blender, and being chopped and cycled around based on various settings. Grain Freeze is a Max for Live plugin, which can be downloaded for free, on the Max for Live website. Grain Freeze is loaded into an audio channel. MIDI map, the ready button, to any button, on your MIDI controller. In the diagram, the Grain Freeze activation buttons are red. Each red button controls the Grain Freeze plugin in the audio channel above it. When you activate the ready button, the previous 3 seconds of audio will be captured in the plugin to be manipulated. The position fader allows you to control which section of the captured sound will be played back. The grain fader selects the length of the audio which will be played back. The spray fader introduces random elements of audio from the captured recording. The spread fader adds width to the sound and the voices fader expands the pitch and width. Rather predictably, chorus adds a chorus effect to the recorded audio. The tune fader affects pitch. Combined with the Looper plugin, you can save new wave samples to be used in future compositions. The fade control determines how long it will take for the channel's audio to transition into the plugin. zero, the effect will be instant.
I would like to give a big thank you to Robert Hank for making this beautiful device for electronic musicians to enjoy. This has been an Ultra Harmonics production. Thank you for watching.